oh look, there's the formula. It's hey, we, right there. Hey, we were just uh, one step behind yeah. or ahead. Yeah, I don't know what happened. So you got to be careful with your chains. They're starting to have a tear. Your bling. <sighs> okay, thanks. Example three: Marin has five hundred dollars to invest at nine percent annual interest compounded monthly. How long will it take for her investment to grow to three thousand dollars? Oh, they don't give us a T here. Yeah, the P R monthly means that K will be twelve. Right. And we're trying to figure out when A will be 3,000. So if we set that up. Basically, this turns into a logarithmic style. It goes from being an exponential type of problem to a logarithmic uh, problem. Why, you might ask? Because our variable, is in, <laughs> cause our variable is in the exponent. You were supposed to ask. Oh. Uh, but that's okay. So, yes. Uh, so, we've got to get it out. And the only way to do that is to get a, a logarithm written in. So, uh, first order of business is get rid of everything not inside or belonging to or part of this, being raised to a power. Right. So, 3,000 divided by 500 is 6. And why don't we do, go ahead and do this? 1 plus okay. 0 0.09 divided by 12. Okay. Hold on. 3,000 divided by you, 500. No, you don't need to do that part. I already know that part. Oh, oh, sorry. Do the parentheses. 1 plus 0 0.09. 0 0.09 divided by 12. Divided by 12. I get 1.0075. Now, on, on this, it's it's possible you can have a pretty tiny decimal, and you, you really do want to try and keep as many of those decimal places as possible. The more, the merrier. Indeed. It's like a party. The more people that show up, the more fun you're probably going to have. Now, let's rewrite this as a logarithm. Okay, good plan. So, we're going to have log with the base of the base of this exponential expression. So, 1.0075 yeah, really of 6. Because remember, we go in a circle here to figure out what to put in our equation, 12t. So we can figure this out on our calculator. Either your calculator will set up the template for you and you'll just type it in, or you would do log of 6 over log of 1.0075. And after you do that, you just want to make it divide that answer by 12 on both sides, and that will give you t. Yeah, with, try not to round anything With a minimal amount of rounding. Right. So I get 19.98 years. Hang on one sec. 19.98 years. years. That's about 20 years. That's about 20 years. Pretty close. That's like December 30th. Yeah. 